Hello everyone, how are you all? I hope everyone are doing fantastic, right? I am Kotraj from Genius Growth. It is happy to inform you all that in our channel we are going to provide class 12 chemistry syllabus. From today onwards we are going to start uploading class 12 chemistry syllabus. Okay, soon we come with the physics also, but it takes some time. Okay, just we are initiated to start class 12 chemistry. As per the plan of genius growth, first we need to cover every chapter in class 12. Then I come with the one shot revision on every chapters and mind map revisions on those chapters. Okay, then I will come up with the model question paper solving and the previous year question paper solving. Okay, so that it will become perfect with all the chapters in class 12. Okay, as my concern guys, <laughs> as my concern and my experience when I read the textbooks, uh, usually I refer always NCIT syllabus. Why? Because I am preaching that much only. So when I refer those that NCIT textbook, usually it is uh, seems quite easy than class 11 chemistry syllabus guys. So don't worry with class 12 chemistry. It is quite easier than class 11 chemistry. Okay. So with that hope only let us study in the easiest way and in a much better possible way. Understood no? So let us uh, start. <laughs> overview of class 12 chemistry so that it will be a brief introduction to you what we are going to study in class 12 right so it will be uh, helpful i think so that's why i always come with the overview then i will start with the chapters this class let me give a brief introduction of all the chapters that we are going to study in class 12 okay first uh, in part one okay in the part one in the syllabus in the part one we have two types of chemistries called physical chemistry and inorganic chemistry first let me discuss about the physical chemistry chapters coming to the first chapter in physical chemistry is the solid states the first chapter is solid states when i say the word solids you must if you are a science student you must have to go with the particles arrangement we know right we have three types of matter called solids liquids and gases in these solids okay especially in the solids we have you see this is imagine this is a solid in that solids the particles are very closely packed yes, isn't it the particles arrangement is very close to each other they will attract with each other yes or no so this is what the particles arrangement in case of the solids First, we will study the characteristics of solids. We know that solids are hard, correct? See, for example, when I take a periodic table, all the elements from the group number 1 to the group number 12, all those are the metals we know. Those metals are solids, right? So, all uh, that thing we will discuss here. That is what the chemistry, right? Discussing of those elements in a periodic table, one statement for the chemistry. That thing we will discuss here, the characteristics of solids. Then we go with the another properties called amorphous and crystalline solids. At last, the concept is magnetic properties also we will study in this chapter. Okay, what are the magnetic properties that those the metals will behave? We know that the solids are usually the metals. Metals are good conductors of heat and electricity, right? So that is also we will be discuss here. All about the solids we will discuss in this chapter. Understood? No? A simple chapter you can understand in easiest way. So the next chapter comes, chapter is the solutions. So what we will be studying in this chapter? Solutions. We know that we have heard a word called mixtures, right? See, can you tell me the types of mixtures guys? We have a homogeneous mixture and we have a heterogeneous mixture. Understood? Like this, the types of mixtures, we have also types of the solutions. We have a gaseous solutions, we have a liquid solutions and as well as we have a solids solutions. So, when the gases are combined, we, can, we call that as gaseous solutions. When the liquids are combined, we call it as liquid solutions. When the solids will combine, we call it as solid solutions. So, like the solutions we have, we will study that solutions. But, then, if you want to understand about these solutions, you must have thorough with the class 11 chapters. Some chapters called equilibrium. Have you heard right? In class 11 we studied right? In physical chemistry chapter equilibrium is there. States of matter. 
and more importantly basic concepts of chemistry in basic concepts of chemistry we have heard the name called concentration terms right concentration terms if you study this if you study this concentration terms then only you can understand the concentration of the solutions Okay, so these are the terms which will explain the concentrations. Solution mixture in the sense there will must be two or more substances get mixed up, right? So for each substance, how much it is mixed up, we have to say the concentration, right? So that thing we need to know here. If you know that concentration terms, then only you can understand this chapter, guys. So that, that's why everyone will say that class 12 chemistry is continuity of class 11 chemistry. Here you can see the power guys, so you can go through it and you can learn the concentration terms. I explained there in detail way. Understood? Okay, this is all about the concentration terms. In equilibrium, we need to learn about Lee Chatelier's principle. Understood? We are also taking this word. And again, we will take the states of matter like uh, some last we have studied, right? Like partial pressure of gases. That thing you will take here and you will study here. Understood now? So the next chapter we will be studying in the case of physical chemistry is very very important chapter in physical chemistry is electrochemistry. Which chemistry guys? Electrochemistry. A very very important chapter in case of physical chemistry in class 12 that is what electrochemistry. The name itself says that it is an interlinkage between the electricity and the chemistry. From the chemicals how we will produce the Electricity from the chemical electricity, how we are going to produce the chemicals. This is what interconversion we will learn here. Understood? So that thing we will study, and also chemicals which are there. See, for all the torch, we will use the batteries, right? That batteries contain of a lithium, which is a chemical. Yes or no? That lithium batteries we will use. We will study those types of batteries, and also we will study about the corrosion of those things. Understood? So all those things we will study here, a very important chapter in case of physical chemistry. So the next chapter that we are going to study in physical chemistry is chemical kinetics. Chemical kinetics. See there is not much more to tell about this. Why? Because the main thing we have discussed in here is rate of reaction. A rate of reaction. The kinetics in the sense that is what? In the motion, yes or no, then the motion, if it is there, then only we can study. The rate of reaction is the speed of a reaction. It might be forward reaction or it might be backward reaction. The speed we are going to talk. The speed, where we have learned? We learned in the equilibrium now. That concept we will apply here and then we will understand this chemical kinetics. Understood now? So how the temperature is dependent upon that thing also we will learn here. See, if the equilibrium is got disturbed, it might be disturbed by the changing the concentration, changing the temperature, changing the pressures. Yeah. Understood now? So like this we have, if there is that variables are disturbed, then the equilibrium is get disturbed. To attain that, we will use the lead chatelier principle. In the same way, in the same way, if you look, study this equilibrium, then you can understand much better in chemical kinetics. One more tip I told now, if you study these three chapters, then only you can understand solutions in better way. But don't worry. From the basic, whatever is needed, all that I will cover in when I come with a chapter called solutions. Okay, so these are the four chapters and the last chapter in physical chemistry is surface chemistry. So then what do we study here in surface chemistry? We have heard the word surface tension in physics, right? But what is this surface chemistry? Guys? First concept that is what we are discussing here is adsorption. We know the word absorption, right? But what is the adsorption? That thing you will learn. And catalysis you will learn. And again, on concept called colloids. How the colloids will occur. So all those things you will learn in surface chemistry. It is called quite important chapter. As I told, electrochemistry is very, very important chapter. Solutions, surface chemistry. All those are important, but very, very important is electrochemistry. It is very useful in detailed life. Understood? So while by taking so much of practical applications, I will going to explain this chapter in very nice way. So don't miss out that chapter. Hmm? Okay. So these are the chapters in physical chemistry. Okay. If you uh, read this chapter, you will 
about to finish 30% of the chemistry syllabus. Okay, so okay. So this is everything about the physical chemistry, guys. For uh, next, I will move in the next chapters, which is fall under the inorganic chemistry. Yes, guys, coming to the chapters which will fall under inorganic chemistry. When I say the word inorganic chemistry, you must imagine the periodic table, right? Correct. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and last one, 18. You must imagine this parent table. We know, right? What is inorganic chemistry, guys? Study of the elements present in the periodic table, that thing we call it as inorganic chemistry. So, the first chapter in class 12 is isolation of elements. Isolation of elements. Yes, I know that this is a huge name for the chapter called General Principles and Process of Isolation of Elements. Mainly, we will study, in shortcut I can say that it is about isolation of elements. We know how we are going to extract the metals, right? From the group 1 to the group 12, all those are the metals, correct? Right? Say for example, it might be zinc, it might be iron, correct? Right? It might be magnesium. So these are the metals we are going to extract, in, extract from the earth crust. That process, all that thing, extraction of metals, refining of those metals, all that will fall under a branch of chemistry called metallurgy. Called metallurgy. That thing we will learn here, guys. Okay? So, how we are going to extract the metals from the earth crust, how we are going to refine it, how, how do we get that gold, silver, Gold, silver, all those the metals we will be studying in this chapter. Understood now? So some principles are there. It might be thermodynamic principles on metallurgy, electrochemical principles on metallurgy. Everything about this metallurgy we will study in this chapter. The first chapter in inorganic chemistry. Okay. So next we come to the next chapter which is there in inorganic chemistry is P block elements. Yes. In class 11, we studied about the group number 13 and group number 14, right? Yes, we have studied two families called carbon family and boron family. Yes or no? Group 13 and group 14, we have studied remaining groups in the p-block elements. We know, right? Why we are going to call that as p-block elements, guys? The last shell which is there in the elements is p-shell, right? P-subshell is there. That's why we call that name as p-block elements. 13 and 14 groups we have already finished in class 11. Remaining groups called 15, 16, 17 and 18. The remaining these four groups we will study in this class 12. Group 15 is called with the name as nitrogen family. Group 16 oxygen family. Group 17 chlorine family. Group 18 noble gases family. Understood? So these four families we will study in class 12. Okay, so in the same way how we studied group 13 and 14, in the same way we will be studying these four families in class 1. Okay, so next chapter in inorganic chemistry is D and F block elements. Why are we going to call this by this name that the last subshell of those elements is D and F block elements. Sorry, D and F subshell is there. See, from the group number 3 to group number 12, those are D block elements. Some period, like in the period 5 and 6 period, we have some specialized uh, periods are there, okay? Some specialized elements are there. So, those will be represented in uh, under the periodic table called lactinoids and, sorry, lanthanoids and, lanthanoids and actinoids. Correct? About these two periods, about these elements, we will study in F block elements. D block element is from the group number 13 to 12. We get we have to study in a brief idea. Okay. If you have a brief idea about those elements, that much is enough. Okay. Likewise, we have we have studied 13, 14, group number 1, 2 S block elements, right? So, like that, we are not going to supposed to study here. In general characteristics, we will study of D block elements and F block elements. Understood? Okay, don't worry about those chapters. Okay. I will uh, come with the tips and tips to remember those things. Hmm? Let's come to the next chapter in uh, inorganic chemistry is coordination compounds. Coordination compounds. A very simple chapter in uh, inorganic chemistry. 
Likewise, we have studied chemical bonding, right? In physical chemistry in class 11. In the same way, how the bonding is taken place between the compounds to form a coordinate bonds, right? Right. Some theories are there which will describe these coordination compounds. We have studied two types of bonds, right? You say, for example, we have studied a ionic bonds and the covalent bond but you have not studied the, about the coordination bonds that thing you will study here okay everything about those bonds and how the compounds are formed all you will learn in this particular unit called coordination compounds so these are the four chapters from inorganic chemistry now it's time to discuss about the organic chemistry yes guys coming to the first chapter in organic chemistry actually speaking all the chapters which will come under part 2 or belonging to organic chemistry. Once again to recall what we have studied in class 11, we have studied the two chapters, mainly two chapters. That is what general organic chemistry and hydrocarbons, right? Those two chapters are the basic chapters to understand class 12 organic chemistry chapters. If you are thorough with the isomerization, if you are thorough with the naming, IOPAC naming, right? Uh, yes, if you are thorough with those concepts, then you can understand this organic chemistry. We are studying here the functional groups mainly. Four chapters we have studied, right? So now I will discuss now. Those chapters are functional groups. That thing we will study in class 12. Okay, very important guys. Try to focus on organic chemistry. Definitely organic chemistry is very, very important for exam point of view as well as for competitive exam point of view. Okay, cover the first chapter which is there in uh, organic chemistry. See, half of the syllabus is belong to organic chemistry, guys. Okay, so you need to struggle hard to understand the concepts here. No need to struggle, guys. I am here to solve you. <laughs> yes, so now the first chapter which is there is halo alkanes, halo alkanes, and halo arenes. So, first I will give an idea about these uh, functional groups. I'm giving a structural formula. So, what we study in that? I'm just giving a brief introduction. Okay. Uh, first, halo alkanes means these are the alkyl groups which are attached to halogens. Say, for example, I am an ethene. Okay. This is what ethene. Okay. Ethene. Okay. This is what ethene, right? Two carbon compound. Ethene. If this is ethene. To write this elaborate form, I am write like this. I am write like this. Yes. So if I replaced one hydrogen, I am placing one halogen. Halogens are usually represented by the letter X. Halogens, it might be fluorine, it might be chlorine, it might be bromine, it might be iodine. Whatever will be the halogen? If the halogen is attached to the alkyl group, which is sp3 hybridized. The alka, the carbon which is sp3 hybridized, if the halogen is attached to that, that type of compounds we call them as haloalkanes. Understood now? So what are maybe the alkyl compounds are there? Do you remember what do you mean by alkyl compounds guys? Say for example, CH3, CH3 is the ethane right? It is one alkane. If there is one hydrogen less, CH2, CH3 is there. Okay? CH2, CH3 is there, then that type of what we call that type of compounds we call them as alkyl compounds. If it is attached to the halogen, then that type of compounds we call them as haloalkanes. Then what do we mean by haloarenes? If if the uh, halogen, the halogen is attached to the carbon which is sp2 hybridized. Have an idea about the sp3 and sp2 hybridization, right? Say for example, around the carbon, if there are four sigma bonds, then that type of hybridization we call them as sp3, right? If there is three sigma bonds, one pi bond would be there, then that type of compounds we call them as sp2 hybridized. See, where we found the carbons which are sp2 hybridized, guys? Exactly in the benzenes, right? Why? Because they are double bonds, right? When forming the double bond, they will overlap just by side overlapping so that's why those type of overlaps we call them as sidal overlapping that the bond formation is pi bond which is a weaker bond that type of bond we call them as pi bond is yes? so that bond if it's connected to the carbon see one carbon is connected with the other bond means it is sp2 hybridized here it is hydrogen okay that hydrogen i'm skipping and i'm adding halogen 
that type of compounds we call them as halovalents the halogen which is attached to the sp2 hybridized carbon that type of uh, that type of compounds we call them as haloalanes understood now okay this is uh, okay we will study the preparation of al haloalkanes preparation of haloalanes chemical properties physical properties the same way how we are studying the hydrocarbons in the same way we will also study these two compounds understood now okay then in the next chapter we are going to study is alcohols alcohols phenols and ethers okay let me give an introduction to these uh, functional groups guys alcohols in the sense it is connected to the organic compound alkyl group alkyl groups we will represent by the letter r halogens we will represent by the letter x remember this okay throughout the organic chemistry you need to remember alkyl groups attached to the oh functional group alcohol in the sense oh group right so if the alkyl group present to attach to the oh group then that type of compounds we call them as alcohols in the same way if the benzenoid rings okay if the benzene rings attach to the oh group that type of compound organic compounds we call them as phenols if the two okay if the two alkyl groups are attached to the oxygen then that type of com organic compounds we call them as ethers understood now so this is everything about this chapter <laughs> so then what you said here the commercial use of alcohols we know that alcohol we are going to consume yes or no that type of uh, usually it is in, uh, not only used in uh, drinks guys we are also used in sanitizers right some benefit uh, commercial uses are there so that thing you will understand there preparation of those all that you will study chemical properties physical properties hmm? okay this is about these two chapters so next coming to the next chapter in organic chemistry is the third chapter aldehydes aldehydes ketones and carboxylic acids see first we will understand the aldehydes alcohol is oh group no if the organic say carbon i am taking example if this carbon is double bonded with the oxygen single bonded with the hydrogen which is connected to the alkyl group this type of molecular formula is there means then that type of compounds we call them as aldehyde compounds yes okay then what about the ketones you say this is what the carbon at the middle two alkyl groups are present in between one carbon is there that carbon is double bonded with the oxygen that type of compounds we call them as the ketones i want again to revise the i uh, i pack names for this the suffix is added for the alcohol is ol um these are the words some are same if we the functional group sorry the i pack name is added for the aldehyde is al this ketone is one okay and the carboxylic acid is oic acid sometimes we use carboxylic acid itself but the i pack name is oic acid so carboxylic acid uh, structure is um, cooh okay not only this one guys if the hydrogen is there if you call as carboxylic acid sometimes it hydrogen in the place of hydrogen some another uh, element would be there like nitrogen okay some halogens would be there if that if that was linkage that type of also we call them as carboxylic acids understood now these things okay guys these are the three chapters now let me go with the next chapter amines okay guys the next chapter in organic chemistry is amines so these are the organic compounds having a linkage with with the ammonia derivatives okay this is what on uh, benzene right this benzene is connected with the ammonia then that type we call them as amines not only ammonia their derivatives what are their derivatives guys if we remove one hydrogen what is there left the left is nh2 right this is also what amine and again if it is one another one hydrogen is removed then we left with the nh that is also we call it as what we call that is a that type of organic compound also we call it as a name amines okay this is all about the amines this type of compounds preparation or chemical properties physical properties all that you will study there 
okay so next the next chapter is uh, biomolecules biomolecules okay what are the biomolecules guys you might have learned in biology right class 11 biology that some chapter is there could you remember if you opted for biology biomolecules if you not okay it's okay biomolecules which are the molecules which are present in our inside the body that type of compounds we will study the first compound is glucose nothing but the carbohydrates okay not in the glucose polysaccharides fructose all that we will study here carbohydrates and also we will study about the proteins so the building blocks of these proteins are amino acids their behavior and all we will study there okay what are the users and how their structure would be and so the source also we will study here and next day we will study the vitamins okay so their vitamins is source we will be study from where we get these vitamins and if there is a deficiency in, the, in these vitamins if there is deficiency in, the, in these vitamins what are the diseases are caused okay so next we will study about the nucleic acids nucleic acids different types of nucleic acids we will be study and then then we will study the enzymes guys have you heard this word in from the class 10 also you will be hearing right in case of if you not opted for class 11 biology if you might have heard this word in class 10 right enzymes these are the bio catalysts which will help in the case of digestion can you remember hope, hope if you can huh? these enzymes are the biological catalysts which will use this use in the form of digestion like that process right so those things we will learn in biomolecules and the last chapter we will be studying is polymers can you remember the word polymers obviously at last chapter in organic chemistry called hydrocarbons there you can remember right at last process what we have studied is polymerization polymerization in the process of polymerization from the monomers from the monomers we are going to form a polymers right these polymers this process what we call monomerization polymerization from the polymers to monomers monomerization like th this process we have learned now so what is the use of the those poly and the types of the polymerization so all that you will learn in this chapter okay how is there a biodegradable all that you will study in polymers okay so and the next very very next last chapter very last chapter in uh, organic chemistry is uh, chemistry in everyday life in uh, everyday life so in this chapter you will be studying uh, about the drugs mainly the drugs guys okay the, about the drugs we are going to study in this chapter guys okay can you remember uh, some drugs hope you can right see it is playing a very vital role in day to day life for the health also for the uh, bad things also it is using the drugs right say uh, that that things also will be learned in the chapter okay also you will learn the chemicals in the food okay in everyday life how the, what are the chemicals will be used what is the chemistry we will use that thing will be said here see chemical foods what are the chemicals used in the foods okay see uh, we will add tasting powder right that's also chemical no so those chemicals we will use see in the fridges we are going to use the cfc right? that is also chemical so so many chemicals are used to preserve the food right so that thing you will study in this chapter and also we will be studying about the cleansing agent cleansing agents can you remember guys can you in class 10 chemistry you might have learned about the soaps and detergents last topic of the chapter carbon and its compounds can you in that chapter you have learned something brief idea about the soaps and detergents right the structure of the soaps detergents in the why soaps are not used in hard water why her detergents will work in hard water also as well as in soft water so all those things we have learned much more about those aspects you will learn in this chapter okay uh, this is the last chapter of organic chemistry guys so that's how we have come back that's how we have completed class 12 chemistry overview <laughs> okay uh, from next session onwards i will come up with the first chapter in physical chemistry called the solid stage okay i uh, will come with that solid state let you meet in the next in that session itself okay i uh, hope this video will help you a lot right just i gave a brief introduction of every chapter that we are going to study as i told that class 12 chemistry is much easier than class 11 chemistry guys then why are you worrying 
So, with happily, we can uh, face the examination of class 12 chemistry. Okay, I uh, will the syllabus we have, we have a tiny syllabus. Okay, so yeah, as compared to class 11, uh, the lessons are less, but organic chemistry chapters are more. Okay, you need to concentrate on organic chemistry, guys. Okay, very huge chapters are there in organic chemistry. Part 2 whole textbook is for organic chemistry. If you are not well in organic chemistry, but be pick up in the holidays okay in a, whatever don't waste the time in class 12 we know that right how class 12 is very very important and one best suggestion is uh, be perfect with every chapter of class 12 guys why because i'll give an example if you study the amines if you're not studying the biomolecules okay some students will have follow the blueprint i dedicate that blueprint for only for the uh, only for the people who will try to just pass Okay, if you want to obtain a good marks, if you want to obtain an out of 14 chemistry, don't follow that blueprint. If you follow that much, okay, it's okay. But still, if you want to gauge 100 out of 100, 100 out of 100, you must be perfect with every chapter in class 12. Why? Because some, okay, if you are not perfect in our minds, if there is optional question in biomolecules, you will learn this much, this lesson, right? If some questions are there, which will be trickiest in our minds, then you, might, you have to go for biomolecules, right? If you not read the chapter, which it will be hard, right? That's why I'm telling you that read every chapter in class 12, guys. Understood, you know? So this is all a suggestions from me. From next uh, session onwards, I'm going to start the syllabus, guys. Uh, do watch the videos. If you like this video, like it, comment, and also mention your place. From where you are watching this video, okay? Let me uh, know from where you are watching, okay? Let me know from for how much extent our videos are reached, okay? Uh, if you if you mention that, it will be so happy for that for me actually, okay? This is all from today's topic, guys. Uh, do share the videos with your friends, subscribe our channel to learn the concepts in a best possible way. Thank you, everyone. Meet you in the next session. Keep learning until then.